This is the second of a series of short videos discussing big data. They're designed for those looking for a high-level view of this space. My name is Kathy Chung, and the topic I will be talking about today is big data technologies. People have been talking about the information explosion since the 1940s, so technologies addressing big data have also been evolving. Today, big data technologies often refer to Hadoop, NoSQL, real-time streaming, machine learning, or related technologies. I'd like to talk about Hadoop and do that in two minutes. Ready? What is Hadoop and where did it come from? Hadoop is a Java-based programming framework that supports the processing of large data sets in a distributed computing environment. It is designed to execute queries and other batch read operations against massive data sets that can scale from tens of terabytes to petabytes. It is also designed to scale up from a single server to thousands of machines with a very high degree of fault tolerance. Hadoop was inspired by Google's MapReduce and the Google file system. It is a namesake of Duck Cutting Sun's toy yellow elephant and got its start in Dutch. It is part of the Apache project sponsored by the Apache Software Foundation. You can look at Hadoop as a data processing platform that combines elements of databases, data integration tools, and parallel coding environments into a new and interesting mix. To enable what we talked about before, distributed parallel processing of huge amounts of data across inexpensive industry standard servers that store, process the data with the capability to scale without limits. What does Hadoop look like? Hadoop has two main components, MapReduce and HDFS. MapReduce is a programming model for data processing. It is currently the most widely used general purpose computing model and runtime system for distributed data analytics. It works by breaking the processing into two phases, the map phase and the reduce phase. Each phase has key value pairs as input and output. The programmer also spe specifies two functions, map function and reduce function. Note that users of MapReduce don't need to implement parallelism or reliability features themselves. They can focus on the data problems they're trying to solve. To scale out MapReduce, we need to store the data in a distributed file system, such as HDFS, to allow Hadoop to move the MapReduce computation to each machine hosting a part of the data. Hadoop is supplemented by an ecosystem of Apache projects, such as Pig, Hive, and Zookeeper. Why would anyone care? Hadoop changes the economics and dynamics of large-scale computing. It's scalable, cost-effective, flexible, and fault-tolerant. Hadoop makes it possible to run applications on systems with, with thousands of nodes involving thousands of terabytes. Its distributed file system facilitates rapid data transfer rates among nodes and allows the system to continue operating uninterrupted in case of a node failure. With more and more data being created every day, Hadoop's advantage means that organizations and businesses can find value in what used to be data exhaust or useless data. There you have it. Hadoop in two minutes. Thank you for listening and join me next time to continue to talk about big data technologies.